Organizations around the world have been sending money and supplies to China to help deal with the COVID-19 outbreak, including the Hubei Fellows Association. Feng Li is the chairman of the group's Washington, D.C. Metro chapter. So, uh, Mr. Li, we've seen various groups, not just here in the United States, but around the world, coming together to send medical supplies to China. What have you seen here in this area in your experience and people wanting to help? Uh, yes, uh, here, um, uh, you know, uh, when the news of the uh, city lockdown right here in the United States, uh, we we were concerned, we were worried because we know the city very well. We know the people there very well. I, I myself I was born in Wuhan and I went to college there. I spent 27 years of my life there. So I know exactly uh, what they are facing. Uh, we know uh, they will face tough time ahead of them. That's why we launched the campaign to donate for Wuhan. What more do they need? Are you still sending supplies or trying to sell, send supplies? I know the number of infections is going down, but that's not the end of it. Uh, yes, uh, at this time, uh, I think we have, uh, we have uh, shipped more than $50,000 of medical supplies to China by this time already to the hospitals uh, to help people fight the virus. Uh, but at this time, the virus are mostly under control uh, we decide to, our shipment has been changed. I think we are slowing down the shipment of medical device. Uh, but uh, we are still accepting donations because the city is still under lockdown. People are still suffering. We know they are still need help, especially people living in remote area of Wuhan. Logistically, has it been difficult to get the supplies from the United States to Wuhan? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was not easy, you know. Uh, collection money is the first step. Uh, but, you know, when the city was under lockdown, the regular transport channel was disrupted to deliver uh, this medical devices there, you, know, you have to establish a new channel that involves many parties such as uh, airline, a customs, charity organization in China, China Red Cross Society. So we need to talk with all of these people. Uh, we have a large group of people here to help us, so they are very dedicated, they are very capable, and everybody was eager to help. And um, people in China, you know, China uh, Chinese government was very cooperative. So in a very short period of time, we were able to establish a green channel to deliver uh, our medical supplies to the first line, first line hospital. And we don't have a lot of time left, but quickly, if you can tell us what you're hearing from the people you know, your friends and loved ones from Wuhan, how are they doing? We've heard so many stories from there. Yes, that, uh, uh, that, uh, that's right. I have families there, I have friends there. We have close contact with them, with WeChat, so we know exactly what's going on there at this time. Uh, the case, the number of cases is slowing down day by day, but the older measures of lockdown were still being, are still being uh, implemented. So, and the people say we cannot, we cannot relax, otherwise it will uh, come back again. So they are trying to work very hard to contain the spread of the virus. And they're trying to stay strong. Thank you so much, Mr. Fang Li. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you.